hello and welcome to another video uh today we'll be look, looking at a strategy you can use to trade uh, volatility 75 index on my screen i have v75 five minutes time frame and as you can see with this strategy i've been able to enter a trade and i'm in profit now let's look at how you can also make use of this strategy to uh, trade volatility on five index all right the reason why i enter this trade here is because this red line just crossed this blue line and the red and the orange lines crossed above here and i have a retest and a for a bounce around here okay so how does this strategy work let's look at the way it works now uh oh, i have two windows i have the i have the main window this is the main window i also have indicator window one this is indicator window one okay now how do i uh make use of the uh indicators on the main window let's look at it now on the main window i have my red line whatever the red line cross down on the blue line whenever the red line cross down on the blue line that that's my sell signal okay uh and whenever the red line cross above the blue line, that's my buy signal. Now, I don't just um, sell or buy. I look at what happens in relation to the black line. Okay, this is the black line. Now, when the two lines are above, when the two lines are above the black line, that's like a bullish trend. Okay, let's look at where. Uh, the two lines crossed the black line that's what we want to look at now okay i'm trying to get a particular point where we have a cross above okay now it is a perfect point now here we have a cross above the black line around here so that's the start of the bullish trend okay so when we are in a bullish trend you always ensure that uh, the red and the blue lines are above the black line okay and you try to take your trade whenever the red line cross above the blue line like you have a cross above the blue line here you can trick it. take your trade okay there's another cross above the blue line here around here so that's a good place for you to take your trade there's another good place for you to take your trade okay so in as much as the two lines have crossed above the black line you look for buy signals okay continue to look for buy signals but when you have the two lines crossing down like we almost had a cross down here but the black line still stays under like you can see here the black line still stays under all right okay so as, as much as okay now we have a cross down here this is the start of a bearish trend we start of the bearish trend of course where the black and the red line both cross down and stays under the black line where the uh uh where the red and the blue line cross down okay so this starts of a very strand all right but i was still able to uh, make use of the signal here to quickly get scalps on by uh trade okay now that's that for the main window now let's look at indicator window one for indicator window one 
I have uh, the orange and the red line okay and I have the green line okay now let, let's let's look at it let's take it one by one now this is this is my green line okay this is my green line like a, a band okay like uh, an envelope all right the lower envelope line okay now this is the upper envelope line around here I have the upper envelope line around here okay I see it's curving upwards around here all right and you can see it curving downwards around here so how I make use of the indicators on the indicator of the one is when this red and orange line this particular red and orange line okay this is what I'm talking about this red and orange line when it comes to the lower green line okay whenever it comes to the lower green line like we have around here so I'll wait for it to cross above for me to buy okay as soon as it comes down and then cross above the blue this blue line start to look for buy opportunities what I will do is to go to the main uh, window to come around here and try and see if I can have a cross above the blue line like we have around here for me to buy so as in as much as it crosses above and it starts to go up I can always scalp some buy trades okay now for sell trades um, just like the opposite of buy trade when it gets to the upper uh, line okay upper green line and it starts to come down then cross down on this blue line now look for my cell upper uh, cell trades like we have around here okay so all I need to do is just compare with what's happening on the main chart okay you can see uh, the red and yellow line goes above around here and then starts to come down around here so i just look for my sell opportunities and then scalp some trades okay scalp some profits all right now um that is not all about it there are instances where the red and the the red and the there are instances where the red and the orange line like we have around there we get up to the black line above here so you know you are you have you, you, your price has gotten to a resistance level then you look for a way to sell okay all right and there are instances is to come down to the black line at the bottom to get to this low bottom you know uh you then you know that uh, price has found some support then you look for buy opportunities okay there are times the band uh, the upper envelope itself we um like we have around here the upper envelope which is the green i'm talking about this here we get to almost to the black line you know you have come to the resistance level and then you may have a descent okay like a fall and you can see what happened here and price will start to go down okay you can you can see how price went down around here just because the upper band or the upper envelope was able to curve upwards okay so if the lower envelope like we have like this green area if it's able to curve, curve downwards to this black uh, line below here then that means we have price has met with some support level and then price will go up okay so you can see this um, you can see what happened around here the red and the orange lines 
almost touching the black line almost getting to the black line and you can see what happened price found supports okay price found support and went up look at what's happening on the main charts price found support and went up okay so if we look further if we try and look further into it okay you can see this is a typical example of the red and the orange line getting close to the black line at the bottom okay you can see getting close to the black bollinger line at the bottom here so you can see what happened on the main chart the main chart is showing you that uh, we have a double bottom here you can see what happened price went up so it's a very good strategy all you need to do is back test check it with what has happened in history and then try and um try and spot the signal like you have the red and the orange line crossing above almost touching the black upper line the black bollinger upper bollinger line around there can surprise went up and then found resistance and price dipped okay so um you can look at what happened around here you can see what happened around here this cross down below the lower envelope line and they're almost getting to our black lower bollinger band around here and if you look at the main chart we have a bottom here uh, like i said earlier when the upper uh, this upper um, envelope line when it touches when it bends upward and touches the upper bollinger black bollinger band like you have around here then price may dip and look at what happened price dipped so you just need to look at the reaction look at the formation of the indicators on both windows before you can uh, decide whether you want to sell or you want to buy all right so whatever happens you have to monitor whatever happens you need to monitor um, how the red and the uh, orange lines how they both uh, react okay like you can see it's the red and the orange line forming a double bottom around here if you look at what happened on the main chart you have a uh, 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 you have price finding support just after this double bottom okay and you can see what happened price went up okay but you have to consider the fact that the red and the the red and the or this red and orange lines they must cross above this blue line within the green envelope band you can see this blue line this red and orange line must cross above it for you to have a buy situation and for you to have a sell situation let me look okay like you have a sell situation around here your confirmation is when they cross down below this blue line when the red and the orange line cross down below the blue line that's your confirmation that price will sell okay so this strategy is a very good strategy uh, try and back test it and then you'll like it okay let's look at the parameters uh let's look at the parameters for this strategy okay on the main chart we have a uh, moving average we have a uh, 50 period uh simple moving average apply to close uh shift is zero and the color is blue then we have 850 period uh simple moving average apply to close shift is also zero but this time around the color is black okay then we have fractals okay and then we have four period smoothed moving average apply to close 
shift zero color is red so that is that for the main main window for indicator window one we have relative strength index okay uh the period is six apply to close now the color uh, will match the background color of the chart all right then we have moving average period is 30. it's a simple moving average shift is zero but you apply to previous indicators data and the color is blue then we have envelopes now for the envelopes the the, the period is 50. now shift is zero uh, the deviation is 40.10 uh, the method is simple you will apply it to first indicators data now the color of the upper band is green and the color of the lower band is green okay um we also have moving average period is one shift is minus three uh, method is linear weights apply to uh, previous indicators data and the color is red then we also have another uh, moving average uh, the period is three shift is zero method is linear weights apply to first indicators data and the color is red and we have envelopes uh, this time around the period is 350 okay uh, the shift is zero deviation is 90.10 method is simple apply to first indicators data now the color of the upper band and lower band is black all right uh, then we have finally we have moving average uh, the period is two the shift is zero method is linear weights uh, apply to first indicators data and the color is orange okay so uh, that is that for the parameters of the uh, indicators it's a very good strategy you can use it on any time frame like this is 15 minutes time frame uh, if you look at the main charts like I said let me remove all the objects okay going to 15 minutes time frame if we go to 15 minutes time frame uh, when the blue when the red line cross down on the blue that's your cell when it cross up above the blue that's your buy but you have to look at the um, trend if both cross if both both the lines cross above the black line that's your bullish trend if both stays below the black line that's your this is your bearish trend like they both cross down on the black line let's look at where they both cross down okay okay they both cross down still looking for where the book okay, yeah now this is where they both cross down on the black line it's the start of your bearish trend so what you need to do is look for when in a bearish trend where when the red line cross down on the blue that's when you get to sell so whenever the red line cross down on the blue in a bearish trend look for sell opportunities now if you are looking for sell opportunities all you need to do is go to the uh, main uh, go to the uh, indicator window one I need to do is go to indicator window one and uh, look at what is happening uh, on indicator window one. Like you have a cell, uh, a cell signal around here. Okay. So on your indicator window one, 
look for the red and the orange lines are they below have they crossed have they both crossed down on the blue line if yes then you are good to go okay if yes you're going to go so you can see our price went down it's a free fall a free fall free fall this 15 minutes time frame free fall and the red line stays under the blue and both the red and the blue stays under the black that's the black line uh, 850 uh, moving average so it's a very good strategy make sure you back this you can use it on any time frame like i said this uh 30 minutes time frame okay you can use it on any time frame this five minutes time frame you can even use it on one minute time frame you can use it to trade uh boom and crash you can use it to trade step index you can use it to trade um uh jump index it's a very good strategy you like it okay but make sure you back test it make sure you try it out on demo account first and see if you know what to do if see if you know when to place your sell trade see if you know when to place your buy trade see if you can spot the buy uh the bullish trend and the bearish trend okay make sure you try all those on demo account first before you go live okay so that's that for the strategy make sure you click the subscribe button kindly subscribe to the channel so that you get to see more videos click the like button like the video also make comment below the video drop your comment below the video ask question below the video uh, also click the bell button below the video for notification okay if you want to take it further you can go to our website www.binfxtrader.com another website is fxfables.com on these two websites you get to learn how to trade forex and volatility index all right till i come your way next time it's 